for open rafter or open truss soffit applications, the first step is to install the proper receiving channels. You have several options depending on the type of construction. Additionally, if you will also be installing fascia, you may also use F-channel as a receiver under the fascia board. In our case, we'll begin by installing F-channel along the wall. If no F-channel is available, you can modify J-channel to create an F-receiver. Simply cut slots in the nail flange area where the receiver will be nailed to the wall. Bend back the flange and nail it to the wall. Whichever channel you use, be sure to leave a quarter inch at each end for expansion and loosely center nail in place every 16 inches. Next, we'll install F-channel under the fascia board. If you'll be mitering soffit at a corner, begin by installing a nailing strip if necessary for extra support. Then cut an H-bar with mitered ends to fit the corner. Be sure to leave one quarter inch for expansion. Then install the H-bar. Next, measure for the soffit panels by measuring from the wall to the fascia board. If the eave span exceeds 16 inches, you must install nailing strips before proceeding. If you're using beaded T2 soffit, it must be nailed every 8 to 12 inches. All other certain teed soffit panels may be nailed every 16 to 24 inches. Cut soffit panels subtracting a half inch for expansion. Cut using a circular saw with a reversed fine tooth blade. We'll be beginning our installation at the corner. So we'll first need to mark or measure our soffit for the mitered angle. Then cut. Install the first panel and loosely nail it in place. Insert the next panel into the channel on the wall. And then into the channel at the fascia board. You may have to flex the panel slightly. Be sure it hooks onto the previous panel. Make sure it's straight, then nail. Do not nail the soffit tightly. Allow movement for expansion. Continue installing soffit until you reach the end. Measure for the last piece. Rip cut the soffit and punch tabs. Then, depending upon the cut point, install either undersill or dual undersill trim into the end channel. Finally, Snap the soffit in place. If you are not using F-channel under the fascia boards, use small headed nails when nailing the soffit panels to the fascia board. If possible, drive nails through the V-groove. This is the only time face nailing of a soffit panel is acceptable. Proper attic ventilation is required for any home. Certainteed soffit is available in solid as well as perforated panels. When installing soffit, make sure you are providing adequate intake ventilation for the attic. Check your local building codes to determine the amount of ventilation required. Attic ventilation is a system requiring air intake via vented soffit panels and air exhaust through a ridge vent or other roof vents. The intake area must be greater than or equal to the exhaust areas to create a balanced airflow system. The free airspace of our soffit panels may be found in our specification sheets. One of the best ways to ensure adequate free airspace is to use Invisivent or perimeter hidden ventilated soffit. Its vents are hidden in the dovetails between the faces. Invisivent provides 10 plus inches of net free area per square foot. It's the highest intake ventilation available in vinyl soffit for optimum attic airflow performance. And it looks great installed. 
If you're installing a porch ceiling or a wide overhang where soffit panels will run parallel to overhead joists, you have to provide additional nailing strips to support the soffit. Install the nailing strips perpendicular to the overhead joists, placing a strip a maximum of every 8 to 12 inches for beaded panels, 16 inches for traditional soffit, and 16 to 24 inches for Iron Max soffit. Next, install J channel along the ceiling perimeter. Then, insert the soffit panels into receiving channels along the ceiling perimeters and nail at each nailing strip. The procedure is much easier for remodeling projects where there is already a solid, nailable surface in place. See our installation manual for further details. To install vinyl fascia with soffit, first nail undersill trim in place along the top of the fascia board. If the roof's drip edge is already in place, you may have to insert the undersill trim beneath it. To determine the width of fascia panel, measure from the slot of the undersill trim to the bottom of the F channel. Add one half inch and cut. At an inside corner, mark and bend a one and one half inch flange at 90 degrees to turn the corner. Taper the face of the fascia by making these cuts. Then, shorten the leg of the fascia to one inch. Next, use a bending tool to bend the face 90 degrees. Finally, use a snap lock punch to create tabs 1 8 inch below the cut edge. Punch tabs every 6 inches with the tab raised on the outside face of the panel. Install by hooking the bottom of the fascia panel under the F channel and push the top into the undersill trim. When overlapping fascia panels, first cut a notch in the underlying panel. The notch should be 1 8 inch deep by 1 and a half inches long. Then slip the notched panel into the adjacent panel. At outside corners, fabricate a corner piece. Cut a length of fascia panel so it extends 6 inches beyond the corner. Mark a vertical line to indicate the position of the corner. Then, cut a 90 degree V notch centered on the vertical line. Lightly score along the vertical line, fold, and create tabs along the upper edge with a snap lock punch. Finally, fit the panel on the corner. The techniques used to install aluminum fascia panels are similar to those used with vinyl, except that you do not use undersill trim. Instead, simply slip the fascia under the drip edge, gutter, or undersill trim along the top of the fascia board. Then nail the panel every 24 inches. Pre-drill slightly oversized holes. For the best appearance, align the holes with V-grooves and use color-matched trim nails.